Ian, it seems like deja vu me asking you this question, but you must have been incredibly frustrated to see Tuesday, Tuesday night's game at Mansfield postponed again. Yeah, I was frustrated, um, especially after we travelled all that way. Um, obviously, I said, I said the other day that I only live 20 minutes, half an hour away, and when I woke up Tuesday, I kind of already knew that the game would be in trouble. I just wish they'd have called it off earlier. Uh, and the frustration came from the week before. We called it off too early and the weather improved. Maybe that's the reason they gave it more of a, a chance. But if you looked at the forecast, it was only going to deteriorate towards the end of the day. Um, so, yeah, frustrated. But, um, well, yeah, we've, we've managed to get some more work into the players to, to get ready for Saturday. We last spoke to you on Monday, midway through transfer deadline day. All in all, you managed to get four new players in the building. Just sum up that day for yourself and, and talk to us about the players you brought in. I think probably the best most positive day uh, I've had since I've been at the club um, and that might seem strange to people but I think the, the the aim of every transfer window is to exit it stronger than when you enter and I think we've done that as a squad as I said I don't think our summer recruitment was was as good as what it could have been um, but we knew the quick fixes that we needed to get to the team and improve the squad with them we did some very very good business on that day um, and now there's some serious competition, legitimate competition for places, and that's what we want. We've got a lot of games to go. We're in February. Normally at this stage of the season, you've broke the back of it, but now we've still got 20-odd games left. We have to make sure that we're consistent and, and ready to go. Marcus Madison's arrival has been a particular talking point among supporters. What can you tell us about him and, and what sort of things he'll bring to the team? As I've said before, he's a maverick and he's a, he's a match winner, you know, and I want him to come here and, and really embrace the club and, and find a home here. Um, you know, we found a home at Peterborough and did some great things there and then since then Charlton's not really worked out for him but I really think this is a platform to showcase his talent and showcase his ability and if Marcus plays well and, and can assist and score goals then it can only help the team. Out of the four new players only MJ Williams was registered to play on Tuesday night. All four of the lads can can play this week and you must be pleased with the depth in the squad that you've got. Yeah, and, and it's it's given me a headache. Um, we've we've got a lot of players to choose from now, especially at the top end of the pitch. Um, and I must say it was great to see them all train today. Um, Dapo in particular was, was ex exceptional today in training and we saw some real flickers of talent. Um, so yeah, as I said, we'll, we'll monitor it and make a decision for Saturday, but going forwards we've really got some strength in depth now. Looking ahead to the weekend's game against Salford, they're of course a team with lofty ambitions but have only won one in the last five. What sort of challenge are you expecting? Tough uh, because they've got some excellent players and they've got a manager that's demanding and wants to win and, and a board of directors that are the same. Um, you know, they've, they've signed some very good players over the years, they've got a wealth of talent and we have to make sure we play to our strengths um, just because they've been on a bad run, a bit similar to us really, that doesn't make them a bad team. You know, that Sometimes you can, in this league in particular, you can get results that you don't really deserve. And last week against Oldham, having watched the game, they could have easily won that game. They had a lot of chances, hit the bar. Um, so that can change overnight like it did for us last week. So we have to make sure we play to a level that we can. And if we do that, as I said before, I'm confident we get the right result. And just finally, what's the latest on the situation with the players making their way back from injury? Yeah, um, just Sars is still struggling. Um, and uh, the long-term ones, Dennis and, and Liam Edwards, they're still out. But other than that, everyone's back fit and training, which is great news.